I've got the staircase here, which is 14 feet by about four feet round. I think it probably weighs about 500 pounds. I can lift one in, I'm thinking about 200 pounds for an N, 200 and about 500. That's just my guess, just a guess. So it needs to go, the bottom of the pipe needs to go up about four or five feet, maybe four and a half feet to get to where it will slip into my foundation nut. Now there are people who wanted to pull it, they wanted to strap the parapet, whatever you call that thing, put a pulley on it, and I have all this stuff. I have two guys here with ropes and use the winch on my jeep to pull it. So position it and pull it. I'm not I'm not too certain about it. <laughs> whether that parapet will stand that or not. So that tension, that pressure, so I don't know if I don't probably will, but I don't know if I want to do that. So the other idea was for my neighbor to bring home a bucket truck and use that as a lift, I think. But I don't know if we're gonna get, you know, one of have access to one of those anytime soon. So my idea is to take my tractor. Let's see, I'm no engineer, but I'm gonna take what I'm gonna try to do. I'm just gonna try it. I don't think I can hear anything. So I'm gonna cut these two boards, and I'm gonna put these two boards like this under my bucket with the uh, this beam, and I have two of these beams, but this first beam on top of the board. So I'm gonna take my truck straps, you can see the yellow straps over there, big heavy duty four inch ratchet straps, and I'm gonna strap the pipe onto uh, this, this uh, beam around this bucket to see if I can make a boom for myself. And I'll probably have to take another four by four by eight and strap it to this once I get this up there, the uh, staircase up in a position where I can push it. And I'm gonna basically use the front loader as a boom and push it upright. And Frank, I think I can do it all by myself. I've got, um, let me show you what I've got here. I've got, uh, I left the form on the, my foundation and I've screwed some scraps of plywood in here to kind of call it a helper. And where I learned that trick from was Carl, the one thumb carpenter. Said he showed me all these little tricks on how you can work by yourself, and he always called it a helper. Um, I guess he didn't have any helpers today, cut his thumb off, but uh, um, it seemed to work for him. So I'm always looking for ways to, you know, add to my advantage on a project. Uh, and, and this, uh, I, I, I think I can, even if this doesn't work, I can get the thing in position, and it's not gonna, I'm, it's not gonna go anywhere unless, of course, I get it, you know, upright and straps break or something shifts. That's always possible. Well, here's my Rube Goldberg device. My uh, eight foot four by four strapped onto my pocket with a couple of uh, three by four beams with one notched in the front and I just added that eight inch vise with eight inch uh, screw clamp. If nothing else, keep your fingers crossed for the best drama. Gotta make sure this is turned on. Hate to miss the decapitation. Too heavy for the bucket tilt, and my uh, three by four beams cracked on me. <laughs> I've got enough on the lift, but I don't. I don't have enough on the tilt. This is not a good beam. I've got other wood. That didn't help me any. That. Look what I did to my <laughs> my clamp, my C clamp. <laughs> 
So yeah, there were some pork on this. I'm surprised it didn't. Well, if you can't succeed by lifting it with the tractor, just use your own back. We're just gonna roll it. And then we're gonna see what happens. I have no idea. staircases you can't roll it. The bad thing is you don't want it to roll down over the hillside. <laughs> Again's gonna roll on me. That's the one thing I'm, I don't want to happen. It's not gonna hurt anything, it's just gonna make a big crash, but if it rolls off the wall, it could mess up the staircase a little bit. Who knows? I don't know. That's the fun of it all. That's enough for today, folks. For me, anyway. Oh, I just a $20 clamp <laughs> so far.